Welcome back to Chibuzo Math Physics and uh, I want to welcome you to this uh, similar matrix series. In the previous video we talked about proving that uh, A is similar to B and that uh, indeed B is also similar to A. So here we have determine, uh, determine whether the matrices A and B are similar. And now in computation we need to determine whether indeed A is similar to B. A is 2 by 2 matrix and B is also 2 by 2 matrix. So it is 1, 2, 0, negative 1 and B is given by 1, 0, negative 2, negative 1. So if you recall by definition according to what we proved in the previous video. So to determine whether this is similar, let's have solution. To determine whether indeed this is similar, the first thing you need to think about is uh, if it is similar then there is a P somewhere and this PB must be equal to AP. It must be equal to AP. Uh, what we mean here is that uh, we are going to introduce P. So let uh, matrix P be given as, uh, let's call it A. Uh, let's call it A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. So this indeed now is our matrix uh, uh, P, but we want to determine that indeed uh, it is similar. So uh, P, B would be, uh, this will imply that uh, what we are going to have here now will be uh, A, B, we have A, B, and then we have C, D, A, B, C, D. This is our matrix P. Multiply this by matrix. Uh, this is PB. Matrix B is uh, 1, then 0, negative 2, uh, negative 1. Uh, this is our matrix B. So this matrix here is nothing but. Uh, this is nothing but uh, matrix PB. So this must be equal to. Uh, which matrix now? It is a uh, matrix. Uh, in, now it is AP. AP is uh, 1. We have 1, uh, 2, 0, negative 1. This is matrix A. Multiply this by matrix P, which is AB, uh, CD. By now, you should know how to multiply two matrices. So if we multiply these two things, what will you get when you multiply this? It is simply A uh, multiplied by 1. This will give us A. In this case, I will have uh, A and uh, <coughs> B multiplied by uh, 2. We, you know, we go this way. It is B multiplied by negative 2. This is negative 2. Uh, this will give us uh, negative 2B. So it is minus uh, 2B. So A multiply, uh, now we come to C. C multiplied by 1. This will give us uh, a C. Uh, this is C, of course. Uh, we are taking the rows and columns. So A into this will give us A. And then we have uh, B into negative 2 is uh, negative 2B. A into 0 is 0. And B into C will be negative B. This is negative B. And here uh, we have uh, A. C into 1 will be C. This will be C here. And C, uh, D into negative 1. Uh, negative 2 here, negative 2 will give us negative 2D. This is negative 2D. Uh, C into 0 is 0, and then D into negative 1 is negative D. So we have negative D. So this is matrix multiplication. When you multiply this together, this is what you get. So let's do this. If we open up this, Together, we will have uh, this also is equal to this matrix. 1 by A is simply A. And we know that uh, uh, <coughs> 2 by C, this is 2 multiplied by C, it is simply plus uh, 2C. Then we have 2 multiplied by uh, B. In this case, you have uh, 2, we are going rows and columns. 
rows and columns. So 2 into this we have 0 multiplied by a is uh, 0 and then negative 1 uh, multiplied by c. Negative 1 multiplied by c. Remember here we have a plus 2c and uh, here we are going to have uh, b plus 2d. b plus 2d. b plus 2d. And then, uh, if we multiply this also, we will simply get negative c, and then here is going to be negative d. So, this is what we get in matrix multiplication. In matrix uh, multiplication, the rows is being multiplied by the column. So, it is here 1 times a, which is a, and uh, 2 times c is plus 2c. 1 times b is b and then 2 times d is plus 2d uh, we have uh, uh, c uh, 0 we have uh, the same uh, method the rows and column and we have negative c and then we have uh, negative d so having done this now we need to solve for b and a, c and d because you know uh, what we did here is 0 times uh, a is 0 and then negative 1 times C is negative C and then we have 0 times B which is 0 negative 1 times D is simply negative D so this is what we have now we need to solve this as a system of equation uh, let's uh, have a line in this case let's uh, have a draw a line here uh, good so now uh, this is what we have uh, since we have, uh, if you observe here, we have negative 2b, so it is uh, negative 2b, uh, negative 2b will be equal to 2c, equal to 2c, because we have 2c, simply uh, take this c the other side so that it become negative 2c. Uh, this implies that uh, our value for c, uh, c, let's say we have c, minus 2d like we have here uh, will be equal to negative c when you uh, take c to the other side just divide by 2 so that c will be equals to negative 2c so our value for c in this case will simply be negative b and our value for d d will be equal to c which is equal to negative b uh, if you observe from this second equation uh, we know that negative b is equal to uh, b plus 2d like we have here b plus 2d such that negative 2b will be equal to 2d so d is equal to uh, b negative b this is negative b so you need to know the value for uh, c here we have negative uh, c gives us uh, this is uh, negative uh, b and we also have uh, d is equal to c so d is equal to c and uh, we also know this is also negative b and we know that d in this case is negative b negative b so we are our aim is to determine whether indeed uh, these matrices are similar so now we have p matrix p which we know matrix p was given as a b c d so it is a b c d this is c and this is d this matrix is equal to what we have here now is a we have a b negative b and negative b because we have negative b and negative b b uh, uh, c is negative b and d is also negative b so this is what we have as our matrix uh, p uh, this will imply if we change this to numbers matrix p uh, will be equal to 1 2 and this is 1 2 negative 2 because uh, this is negative b and this is negative 2 negative 2 negative 2 so we need to now multiply this matrix with the inverse of p p inverse to get p inverse simply multiply it will be equals to a half 
of this matrix uh, negative 2 uh, negative 2 then we have 2 and then 1 this is 2 1 so that uh, our matrix inverse multiplied by this matrix simply multiply p by p inverse this is uh, going to be uh, p by p inverse is 1 2 negative 2 negative 2 this is negative 2 negative 2 this is our p multiply this by p inverse and p inverse we know that uh, uh, is going to be negative 1 when you multiply each of these with a half you get negative 1 uh, negative 1 then you have uh, this we give us uh, 1 and then this by this will simply be a half a half this is negative 1 so that uh, this two matrix now will give us 1 0 0 1 so if you observe what you have here is an identity matrix an identity matrix so what does that mean uh, identity matrix implies that uh, there exists p such that uh, the p inverse that we got so let's conclude this question by saying that uh, there exists this sign mean there exists a uh, p uh, which is equals to uh, one and then we have two this is uh, one two and then negative two negative two like we had in p so there exists this matrix p uh, this matrix p uh, such that such that uh, b is equals to the p inverse of a p like we proved originally that uh, a is similar to b and we know that if a is similar to b then indeed b is also similar to a so this is how you prove by computation that two matrices are similar see you in our next video i remain your friend galagash